Hi everybody, it's Miss Kelly again from Hemlock Farms Conservancy and today I'm going to be talking about the spongy moth spray. Um, why are we talking about this? Because people get worried about it. They get worried about some kind of insecticide being sprayed from the sky and potentially harming them, their children or their pets. So I'm hoping that this video will calm a lot of people down, help you to worry a little bit less, and if you are still worried, take the precautions you need to avoid the spray. So why are we doing this? Um, spongy moth were, um, I would say, an accidentally introduced insect many years ago, and they have plagued the health of the trees in our forest for many years. They're an invasive species. There are some animals that will eat spongy moth, but not many. A few birds have incorporated them into their diet, but they do tend to um, outnumber our beneficial caterpillars and be everywhere, and they chew our leaves and are really a nuisance to people, but also harmful to our trees. If they're eating our trees for too many years in a long succession and have a huge population, they can do real damage and harm especially our oak trees, which are very valuable to our forest. So what do we do? So um, scientists and our natural resource professionals have decided that spraying is the best avenue, and this has been going on cyclically for many, many years. Um, I've lived in Hemlock since 1988, and this spray has been going on as long as I have lived here. We go through periods where we don't see a lot of the caterpillars, and then periods like we're having right now where they seem to be everywhere. So we are doing an aerial spray this year by helicopter. A professional is doing this, so they know what to do and how to do it safely. So what do you need to know? The spray is going to be happening and will be announced sometime next week. Um, hopefully Monday, but that could change depending on weather or wind. That's a really important factor. We don't want to put the spray on wet leaves where it will just be washed off and the caterpillars won't eat them. We can't do it in very windy circumstances because the spray will not go where it is directed to go. Um, when the aerial sprayer comes in, they know where the bus stops are and they are now directed not to be spraying the bus stops during bus stop hours. So they will spray them in the off hours when the kids are in school. There are lots of other details about the spray um, and certain areas that won't be sprayed. So if you have concerns about the spray, call our Director of Natural Resources. So some things that you can do um, and understand to protect yourself from the spray if you don't want to be out there during it. I will assure you that BTK, which is the um, insecticide that they spray, comes from a natural bacteria that is in our soil. That's all around us, especially in wet weather like this, and it controls these populations of caterpillars. But this spray is made from that fungus, and it is not harmful to people, to our pets, to most mammals, birds, fish. However, it doesn't mean that some people won't be sensitive to it. For instance, I'm allergic to apples. Most people can just pick up an apple and eat it, but I happen to be allergic to it. So some people may be sensitive to the spray, and you may already know that. You may have encountered that at other times when we sprayed. So what I would recommend is during the spray, stay inside. You'll hear the spray coming overhead, and then go in about an hour, go out about an hour later when the spray is over. You can um, be assured that you don't have to protect your plants or any kind of vegetation. The spray won't harm them. But say you have a little garden and you're worried about the spray getting on food products there, you could cover that with a cloth. However, I have never done that in my garden. I've just rinsed those vegetables and they're fine to eat. Another thing that you can do is rinse areas that you're going to use later after the spray. So for instance, I always rinse my outdoor furniture after the spongy moth spray. And finally, after you've been outdoors, you or your pets, you can wash your pet's paws and you can wash your own hands. And again, those are just precautions. We know that this spray is not harmful to humans. I hope that answered most of your questions about the concerns you might have about the spongy moth spray, but if it didn't, you're welcome to call Conservancy with questions, and again, our Department of Natural Resources 
and you'll talk to Robert Palumbo. Thanks so much for listening.